And also on the financial front, poor export performance for Taiwan. Economist Gordon Sun urged the government to boost domestic demand. And another economist, Kenneth Lin, said that Taiwan is now paying for its over-reliance on China over the past eight years. This company produces 120,000 bicycles a year, most of which are exported. A recent fall in orders will lead to an expected 100 million NT drop in revenues. Taiwan's exports fell five straight months, including a nearly 14 percent year-on-year drop in June. For the past eight years, the government has placed too much faith in using exports to China as a driver of economic growth. Structural changes are needed. Due to sluggish exports, analysts believe that Taiwan will have trouble achieving 3 percent growth this year. Yesterday, Premier Mao Zedong gave the National Development Council two weeks to come up with a solution focused on industrial restructuring. Gordon Swen of the Taiwan Institute of Economic Research believes that the government should first boost domestic demand. A slide in exports is not unique to Taiwan and not cause to discuss structural problems. Global demand in the second quarter fell significantly. If exports are suffering, we should turn to domestic demand. The council plans to deliver short-term, mid-term and long-term plans to the cabinet to use when setting future policy directions.